Today I have a new video and it is a fabric haul and patterns video. I love doing these and it seems to be at the moment I'm just getting an influx of new fabrics. I've got my Sojo back after having my baby girl Willow back in December. Spring is coming and I just feel great and I'm here to show you some brand new fabrics that I've got, talk through some new patterns that I've got and things that I'm going to make and I'm super excited. So without further ado, before I get started, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So first off, I'm gonna show you the fabrics that I picked up from the Stitch Festival, and this is a UK kind of event, if you hadn't heard of it. And it's a event where you go to, and there's like lots of different shops and brands, like fabrics, haberdashery, crafts, um, you can do workshops there, um, but I mainly just went to go and shop. <laughs> um, and I picked up a few fabrics, so off the top of my head, we'll struggle to remember where I got these fabrics from, but I will leave the names of everything on the screen so that I can uh, check when I'm editing this later. But I picked up a couple of remnants. Now I've got this really cute yellow sweater remnant. It's got like a soft fleece back. Um, and it's only, a, I think this was a metre by 150 centimetres, so yeah, 100 by 150. So something really small, but I thought it was perfect for making something for Willow because um, there's enough there that I can make her maybe like a little matching set or something, or a little sweater, um, and then I could like crick it something on there, which I thought would be quite cool. But another remnant I got from the same brand, again I can't remember who this was that I picked up from, but I'll leave the name in the, uh, at the bottom of the screen, and I'll leave everything that I mentioned in the description description box as usual. Um, this is another knit fabric so it's a slight stretch but it's very very slight in stretch um, and it's this really gorgeous sage green fabric really kind of lightweight and it's got a lovely kind of polka dot texture like running through it um, which I love and I think there's about two meters there and when I say spring it'll probably end up being summer slash autumn by the time I make it. <laughs> Next fabric I got is also from the Stitch Festival from By Grazia and I love this brand. They do some really awesome uh, unique prints and things like that. You might have seen I've done a few makes of their stuff, um, a little heart dress and stuff like that and I picked up this rainbow remnant. Again, it's a stretch fabric, but I thought this would be really cool for a, a, a t-shirt to match me and Willow, and maybe a pair of baby leggings for her as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought that was really, really nice. Their jerseys and their knit fabrics, they're super, super good quality, um, nice and thick, and the stretch is really nice, and uh, from what I've made in the past, they're what they wash really well as well. Next up, I got some fabrics from So Me Sunshine. It's been a while since I got fabrics from So Me Sunshine, but they gifted me a few pieces, and I'm just so excited to show you these fabrics, they're beautiful. First one is this really gorgeous, kind of heavyweight linen, I'd say, medium to heavyweight. It's still, like linen usually is, got a slight sheerness to it, but it's um, it's not got much drape, it's quite heavy, which is perfect for, say, a pair of dungarees or a pair of, like, stiff kind of um, trousers for summer or shorts or something like that. So I got this uh, sage green linen. Now my plan is to make a pair of dungarees with this. Tilly and the Buttons just launched their new Erin dungarees pattern, which I've got here. Um, and I'm going to make myself a pair of dungas with this fabric. I've yet to make this pattern yet, so when I make it I'll obviously do a sewing vlog for you guys. I'll probably make one in a, a twelve fabric first because this fabric is a bit more premium. So I'll probably end up using another fabric I'll show you in my stash in a second. Just so that I can get the fit right before I go ahead and cut into this nice linen. Uh, but that's my plan for that. The next fabric is also from Zoe Sunshine and it's a double gauze and I'm so excited about this fabric, it's beautiful. It's a really gorgeous mustard yellow colour and it has these little embroidered flowers all running through it, which I just think is insane, like the craftsmanship that has gone into this fabric. I have a really, I have a really lovely idea for this fabric. I can't show you the pattern yet, but it's one of Friday Pattern Company's new patterns that is launching in a few weeks time and I can't wait to show you guys. I made it yesterday in a different fabric, again I can't show you yet, but it's awesome and I have 
plans to make it again in this so I will update you on my Instagram I'm on the Friday Pattern Company Instagram probably uh, when I make it so keep your eyes peeled on there for the new pattern that's coming the last fabric I got from Sophie Sunshine to show you is this gorgeous viscose viscose is one of my favorites it's so buttery as a fabric it's gorgeous and most of the time it's opaque and this one is um, so it's gonna be perfect for a summer dress it's a William Morris print so if I just show you close up um, they have quite a few William Morris print fabrics on Sew Me Sunshine at the moment and this particular fabric I picked up for my friend Jazz and I'm going to make her a saltwater slip dress which is a Friday Pattern Company uh, slip dress pattern and I just thought this was so lovely and yeah, um, she's a massive William Morris print uh, fan so I wanted to make her something special for her 30th birthday um, so that's the plan for that one. Okay, moving on. Uh, another fabric I got is from a shop that's uh, the Purple Sewing Cloud. So Sam talked about on her Instagram stories. And again, I cannot remember the name of the brand, so apologies. But again, I will leave everything on the magical screen down below. <laughs> um, but it's this really cool fabric shop that occasionally do like fabrics for five pounds a meter. And I got this really awesome fabric. It's like a Czech fabric that's actually like sewn it's almost like you know if you were to quilt something that's kind of how it would look so it's like this quilted checkerboard kind of style fabric I think I've got about two and a half meters of this and my plan is to make a quilted an easy girls quilted uh, waistcoat the um, new pattern from the new craft house which is the everyday pattern waistcoat and I'll leave a picture of it here uh, I picked that up that pattern and I'm going to make myself a waistcoat using this fabric so I will quilt it and yeah um, it's going to be my first taste of quilting I've kind of gone for the lazy girl the cheap method by getting this fabric because I saw it and I was like I could create a really trendy jacket and not have to do the quilting myself all I have to do is the wadding and the, and the actual quilting part of it but the fabric is ready to to do that so yeah awesome and next up the lovely Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn yet again. You guys know I love Rainbow, fa Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn. They're pretty much where I get most of my fabrics from. And I was sent these pieces for part of their new spring collection. I got this really awesome viscose cotton, I think this is. Um, I think that's what they said it was. It's a bit heavier weight than the usual viscose. It's not as silky. It doesn't have like, that silky finish, but it's still got that really gorgeous drape, as you can see. Um, and I loved the lilac, lavender kind of colour with the orange, um, the rust kind of orange running through the white flowers. I just thought that was really cool, really on trend. Um, and I got quite a lot of fabric here. And again, when I picked up these fabrics, I didn't really have a make in mind for them. But this will probably end up being some kind of summer dress, knowing me. Um, but I absolutely love it. And I think I just love these kind of buttery sort of fabrics. Next thing I got is a polyester tensile, I believe. So it's a bit more structured and I think this would be a good twirl fabric for the Erin dungarees. So that's kind of my aim for this one. And again, I know it's another sage green fabric, but I'm just obsessed with this sort of colourway at the moment. And I'm going to make the Erin dungarees, but I'll probably do the shorts version just so I can test the size. And I think I've only got two metres of fabric of this. So it's the perfect amount to just test the size, do a wearable twirl, and I'll do the shorts version of the Erin rather than the long trouser length. Um, and that way I can test it and I can use this awesome green. There's then this lovely floral linen. This is a cotton linen and it's so nice. I absolutely love it. It's perfect for summer dresses. And obviously linen is just gorgeous in the summer anyway because it's like lightweight. Um, it's semi sheer um, but it should be fine in the summer if you're wearing it like me I wear cycle shorts under my dresses um, just you know when I get a bit hot it helps with the legs <laughs> um, so they don't rub so yeah I will wear a pair of cycle shorts under this and make a summer dress and it will be perfect for that um, and I'm planning on making the new free pattern from Peppermint and it's called the Bowen dress um, this is one of the PDFs that I've just had printed um, and I'm going to make, it's like a smock uh, shape, I'll leave a picture of it there. And it's a free pattern, which is bloody awesome. And I love when they uh, 
release a new pattern this free so I will leave that in the description box below for you guys next up is this purple fabric I didn't actually ask for this one from rainbow fabrics they just sent it to me but I'm actually kind of glad because it puts me out of my comfort zone a little bit it takes me away from the greens the pinks and the yellows as I usually stick to um, but I thought it was really really cool and I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to make of it yet but I was thinking maybe a pair of trousers um, for summer or some kind of chino maybe the Chandler pants by Untitled Forts um, I thought it would be really cool because it is a kind of trouser weight of fabric I actually can't I don't know what this fabric is but as you can see it's it's kind of medium lightweight it's opaque so really good for trousers let me show you as well if I hold up one single layer of it um, you can see it's got a nice drape to it and I think this would make a really cool pair of trousers so that's my plan for this one and last but not least this is not really a fabric but yet a sewing project that I want to show you and I got this in a charity shop and I saw it and I was like oh my god I could work my little magic on this and try and make it something cool um, it's actually a dressing gown <laughs> it's a old ladies dressing gown one of those classic nylon -y type quilted dressing gowns and I saw it and I thought this is so retro, I remember my nan used to have one of these, um, but it's like a maxi length, so there's so much fabric here that I thought, you know what, I'm going to cut this into a cropped jacket um, and then I'm going to use the bottom half of the fabric that I cut off and I'm either going to make myself a matching skirt using the Bobby Tilly in the Button skirt pattern or I was thinking it would make a really cute matching little tote bag, so that's my idea. And then someone also suggested, why don't I make Willow a matching jacket? So I could use the Ways and Wild uh, Woodland Wanderer pattern that I already have, and I could make her a matching jacket so we could both have these matching little quilted jackets together. And so yeah, a few ideas for this, and absolutely over the moon that I found this in a charity shop for £10. <laughs> so yeah, we'll see what happens with this, but that will probably end up being an Instagram Reel uh, video if you guys want to just check out my Instagram if you haven't yet. So that's everything that I wanted to show you in this video so I cannot wait to make the Erin pattern and the Friday pattern that's coming soon, keep your eyes out for that one, um, and the Bowen dress from Peppermint. I've got a few makes in the pipeline and lots of lovely fabrics to get my teeth stuck into and I just wish I had more time to get sewing because I just have so many ideas at the moment. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing everything that I got. Um, I will leave everything that I mentioned in the description box below. If the fabrics are still available, I'll obviously link them. If not, I'll just link the store so you can go and check them out for yourselves. And yeah, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye!